Hello everyone, my name is Enrique Guzman and I am an ARM admin here at Proval Tech. Today I will be showing you how to create a service monitor. Please click the like and subscribe button in the bottom right corner so you never have to miss out on another video. Let's get into it. So there are a couple ways that you can go about creating a service monitor. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it through the agent itself. Um, so let's start by going into the agent that we want to create a service monitor for. Um, let's go ahead and do the this one right here. And then once this loads, we'll go into the service tab. And then from here, you want to look for a service that you want to create a monitor for. Uh, for this example, we're just going to go ahead and look for the print spooler. And then from here, once you find, find it, um, go ahead to the far right and you'll see the little action item here where you can create a monitor. So just click on it and then it should populate most of the information that you guys need to create a service monitor. Um, I do recommend creating a description that way we all know what the monitor is doing when someone goes in here and you know tries to figure out what this monitor is actually doing. Um, and then you just go down the line so it's already filled in with the service. So severity you want to select whatever you want to do it here. Depending on the service that you guys are monitoring it could be a critical one uh, but for this example, we're just going to do other. And then for family, there is one for services. If you scroll all the way down, there's going to be one for Windows services. Select on this. And then the targeted resources. So depending on how you want to monitor, um, you can monitor it only on this specific device. Or if you wanted to, you can uh, monitor a whole group. Uh, you can do a whole company, you can do a site itself, um, you can do a device group if you created one for this particular service, um, or you can just do particular devices. Um, but if this is a, a monitor that you think is beneficial to have it on all devices, you can always do the all resources tab here. Um, we're just going to leave everything the same as we had it, so it's only going to be on the one device that we created this monitor. And then the condition is already going to be pre-filled so for example this print spooler if it's stopped it's going to run this automation and it's going to create a ticket um, we do have the ticket resolution as automatically resolved when print spooler is running so it should automatically close that ticket for you once the service is back running now depending on the service and you say hey this is a little too noisy because the print spooler goes up and down you could always change it to is stopped for and then you know change it to how long it has to be stopped before it creates a ticket and then runs the automation all that fun stuff um, for this example we're just going to leave it as stopped just for quick and easy and then also if you have a better script or an automation that does you know whatever you need the service to do um, you can always add automation here by clicking on this and it will give you the list of all your scripts tasks that you have in your inventory from here you can always select one in and then it will run that automation um, along with the service thing. Now if you only want to run your automation but not necessarily do the automatic you know, start the service for you, you can turn this off and only keep the automation. Now um, again this is the option to resolve the ticket automatically if you didn't want it and just want to do it manually you could always turn this off as well. Um, but once everything is configured how you guys want it, then you can just go ahead and hit save and it will create that monitor for you and it will be enabled by default. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on CWRMM. Let us know what else you would like to see or if you have any questions. Please leave your response in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe.